Helion's fusion generators use two fuels to make electricity, helium-3 and deuterium. Deuterium, a form of hydrogen, is a naturally occurring element that comes from any large body of water, like oceans and lakes. And our oceans have a lot of it, enough to power all of our current energy needs for billions of years. And helium-3 is a form of helium that also occurs naturally, but it's extremely rare to find it here on Earth. However, we can make helium-3 by fusing deuterium and deuterium together. As we do fusion, our systems will produce five byproducts as a result. A proton, helium-3, helium-4, tritium, and a neutron. A proton is a nucleus, or the core, of a normal hydrogen atom. We can capture a proton as electricity. Helium-3 is recycled back into the machine and used as our fusion fuel. Helium-4 is a safe gas, the same kind of helium you would find in a party balloon. After a year of doing fusion in a 50 megawatt generator, you could fill about 3,000 balloons with it and have a really fun party. Tritium is a low-level radioactive material with a half-life of 12.3 years. Our systems capture tritium, then we filter and store it in secure containers. As it decays, it turns into helium-3, which we use again as our fusion fuel. So the tritium that we make is really useful to create more of Helion's fusion fuel. This container could store all of the tritium produced by a 50 megawatt generator in one year of doing fusion. These containers can be safely stored as the material decays into our fuel. Our systems will also produce a neutron. A neutron has no electric charge, so they can't escape the magnetic confinement of our generator. We halt them in their path using thick concrete shielding walls. We add other materials to the concrete, like boron, so we can catch as many neutrons as possible. The radiation from neutrons does create low levels of activated materials over time. We've specifically designed our facilities to only use materials that would result in a manageable amount of activated material. And we add fire suppression systems to prevent any accidental release of such material. Fusion machines do not generate high level radioactive waste. This isn't to say they don't produce radiation or radioactive material at all but they have a similar radiological footprint to a hospital where x-rays and MRIs take place. We understand fusion byproducts, how to capture, filter, and store them very well. With a combination of carefully designed fuel cycle processes, good shielding, and extensive monitoring, Helion will ensure that our facilities operate safely for the public, our personnel, and the environment so we can safely bring clean, carbon-free electricity to the world.